Any needs, Master? In short, who Ooh. kisses Ooh. your ass today will fight well, you. Well, well, another freak. Ridden mutant. Join us, please. Ravi loves company. Look how happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? Sure, he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Ravi here was just about to play for his life and. Uh, Oh, you've got the card. What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broken. So, it seems the Witcher will have to play for you. Sound good? Ah! See? Rav is on board. What do you say we add some spice to the game? Raise the stakes. Ravi's life and the Natalis card. Fancy that? Agreed. <laughs> and here I thought you'd be no fun at all. Let's play, let's play! Enthusiasm, mate, and sit still or you'll hurt yourself. But, but he won! So, now we'll play something else. You're carrying! Oh. 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 
thanks. Don't know how I'll repay you. The tallest card will do just fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe you prefer some other? Got a whole array you might like. I'm in a hurry. The Natalis card, of course, here. I are here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Got the Natalis card. Excellent! Now we've just Caesar bills and to fleece, and we'll be home free. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. He certainly keeps the card there. Can't we just buy the card off him? Doesn't that sound simpler? If I had a coin to spare, I'd sod off to Povis. Said Caesar'd never sell Frangilla. But don't you worry. He won't lose out on the deal. Got a bottle of Mahakam and spirit for him. A taste of the Motherland's finest is worth more to an expatriate than some silly card. Thought you said Caesar doesn't drink. No. I said it's hard to have a drink with him on account of his already leaving home. Also why he's like to get pished as a priestess real quick. Three rounds and you could walk out with everything in that cabinet while singing the three maids of Vico Varo at the top of your lungs. So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go! Chivy! She's our Belzen. I remember our quarrel about who's king of the Pontar. The Pike's king of the Pontar. Uh, well, see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish, and I do not come empty handed. Who's he? Well, him. Well, that's, that's Geralt. Does say uh, Geralt fish? Yeah. Cast an earthworm the other day. Caught this huge perch. And the ponta! You betcha! Can't listen to this hogwash sober. Come in! So what the zanders are eager biters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's because you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse as a clarinet. It just recently, I took some fresh thyme. <laughs> and it tasted like thyme flavored shite. <laughs> Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this thyme. Geralt? Care to chime in? How Xander taste to you? Happened to like Xander. Cause you're a witcher! What do you shove in them potions? Shit's a delicacy to use. <laughs> a witcher? Never mentioned he was a witcher. Well then, did you hear Vibo Batilda last cast a pea and caught a young pike? Ah, cocksuckers lying like always. Ponter Pike aren't so dim-witted to go after his rotten peas. You need life bait. Or night crawlers. Though the pike aren't as eager, don't know why. Once, dug up a crawly so fat and lovely I started drooling. Would have eaten it myself? Uh, I'm not so sure. Geralt, what are you and your pals use up at Kaer Morhen? Bomb. 
comes. How's that? <laughs> Belvin, heard many jests lately. Though, true enough, that one wasn't very funny. Geralt, go fetch us another bottle. In a bit. No! You've forgotten why we've come? How are we gonna get pissed in one bottle? Fine, going. So, when are we gonna go noodling for catfish? I'm done fishing with you. You forget what happened last time. Knife looks like it's attached to the tabletop. Drawer is open. Hmm. Triangular hole in the wall. Interesting. Hmm. Fits perfectly. Secret door behind a bookcase. Classic. using magic. Ought to ask Triss about it. Dining set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Ah, here's Fringilla. Rope with which Stefan Skellen was hanged. Joachim Devet's skull. Hmm, pretty grim curiosity. Full armor of the 7th Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition. Portrait of Emperor Amir. Temper on wood. Pretty flattering, I'd say. Sultan, time we were on our way. <sighs> I suppose so. It's grown late. Wait now. Leaving already? Where's that bottle you went to fetch? Greetings, Belzin. We've a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Uh, now, just a minute. If any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him! And you two, get lost! Right, just on our way out. Looks like Cleaver will need a new clerk. Yeah. Shame about Caesar. Though he didn't know shite about fish. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nilfgaardian armor, a portrait of Emir, Joachim de Vett's skull, Vatier de Rideau's dagger, the rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, shit! Disgusting fellow. To think I shook hands with him. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. No. Ugh. If you say so. Also found a figurine. Nilfgaardian soldier. Magic spell on it of some sort, but I can't tell what kind. Triss ought to know. Good idea. Take it by your house when I get a chance. So, got the full set of cards. What now? Now we collect a shite load of coin for them. Let's go. The exchange. We should do it right quick. Afraid your client might change his mind? Oh, I'm more likely to. 
Had so many buyers for these cards, I felt like the bell of the ball. So the buyer, who is he? A friend of a friend. Don't know much about him, but he's of juke silk. No doubt about that. <laughs> you know me, Geralt. I'm not prejudiced against anyone. Long as they pay. Oh, I can't wait to get the King of Beggars out of my beard. Why is your hair so gay, darling? Ah, at last. I fear the body is gone cold. What is this? Your would-be buyer handed us his coin and departed. More or less in that order. Now, the cards, please. I trust obtaining them wasn't too troublesome. Try it and find out. <laughs> you wish me to try? I'm not as foolish as Earl. You ought to know that by now. Get to work, boys. The dwarf I wish to have alive. I must have a chat with him. Doing it. Geralt, bastards getting away with my coin. Damn it, with our coin. Chase the horse, son. I'll tend to the others. You're carrying! Stop walking into his soul! What? Can't understand a word. Is that a thing? Something close? Who? No! Can't get away, Duke. Might as well stop. Driving drowners? <laughs> you could use a witcher. Ha ha. Highly amusing. If... If I give you the coin, will you leave me be? No. Rather make sure this was our last meeting. So, you get him? You get the coin? Yes. And what about Duke? Finish him off? Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, that's grand. Well, Geralt, what's your preference? Coin or cards? I'd never have managed without you, so you choose. If you want gold, it's not a problem. I'll find another buyer for these cards in a flash. Kinda curious how the cards might serve me. Excellent! I'll take the coin to the King of Beggars right away. Surprise the prick. Good luck, Zoltan. Thanks, Geralt. And remember, the catfish is the king of the Pontar. <laughs> 